Hi, this is Dr. Ali Mugabel, and under research skills, we're doing how to read a paper. Now, we start by answering the question, do we really need to learn how to read a scientific paper, or is this a natural process that will come along? We can learn by trial and error, but I would think this is going to be a long process. So if we have a systematic way of learning, it will make things shorter. I think there was a book um, by Edler, and uh, the title of the book was How to Read a Book. And that was among the best sellers when it was uh, published. And similarly, we have, just like we have How to Read a Book, we need something about how to read a paper. So I think it is important, and it's going to make things easy and shorter. According to the book by Elder, we can divide reading levels into four types. The first one is called elementary reading, uh, and it's the most basic reading, and it's characterized by learning to recognize the individual walls in the page. And this is like reading a newspaper or a magazine. You just need to look at the general uh, idea. The second level is inspectional reading. It's more advanced reading and it's characterized by trying to get the most out of the book or article within a given amount of time. So you have a given amount of time and you just want to have an inspectional reading. We go on to the third level, which is analytical reading. It's more advanced and it's characterized by trying to get the most of out of the work, book or article. And usually here we're not limited. We have unlimited time and we really want to understand what's going on. A higher level will be called syntopical reading, and it's the most advanced form of reading. It involves comparing and contrasting. So it's uh, reading sets of books or articles in a common topic, and then uh, ex extract the information that might be, uh, that might or might not be present in any of the individual material uh, studied, which means that you, the idea that you get is based on the collective understanding or reading by comparing and contrasting all the, the, the topics or the articles. Now, uh, similar to the book about how to read a book, there is a paper about how to read a paper. So that paper is uh, uh, one of the, there might be lots of them, but one of the popular one is by Kishaf and it's called, the title is How to Read a Paper. I am citing the, the paper in, in the description, or you can also get the paper uh, link from our website. The title of the paper is How to Read a Paper. So somebody might argue that I need a paper to read how to read a paper. But you, you get the idea. It's a simple paper, how to read a paper. And, and there, similarly, we divide, or the author divide the reading levels into three types. So you have three pass approach. The first pass is quick. And it is uh, characterized, it's quick, scan to get a bird's eye view of the paper. You can also decide whether you read, need to, to read more or just this is enough about the paper. So in the first pass, you will decide that's enough or I have to proceed. In the second pass, you read the paper with greater care, but of course you don't go into the details. You don't need to prove equations or so. If you find that this paper is very relevant, then you can go to the third pass, which is full understanding of the paper, especially if you are reviewing the paper and you want to make a decision whether to accept or reject the paper. Okay, then you will need the third pass. The key to the third pass is to attempt to virtually re-implement the paper. That's making the same assumption as the authors to create to recreate the work. So if this paper falls exactly in, in your field and it's doing similar to what you want to do, then you have to go on to the third pass. So this is just a snapshot of the paper. There will be an assignment. I would like you to go back to this paper and read it in, det in detail. Instead of reproducing the paper, we'll refer to you to, the, to that paper and the link and the screen the, will be available in the course website. So you uh, might expect a quiz to be given related to this assignment. 
So get ready by reading this paper. And here are some practice problems. If we do them, we will make sure that we understand how to read the paper. The first thing we'd like to do is um, it's a reading assignment. So we'd like you to read how to read the paper, the paper that we have cited and uh, the description of this video will link you to the web to the web page where we have all the resources and you should expect a quiz on that. Uh, the second thing would like you with your advisor or mentor in your specific research area topic to identify a key paper. So with your group, with your mentor, there is most likely some key papers. Identify one key paper in your field, in your specific research experience. Then would like you to demonstrate your ability to, to read by answering the questions that we provide and the key paper assignment that uh, is also available in, in the website. So first, read the assignments, how to read the paper. And you should read it to a, a good level. Third pass, so you expect a quiz there. And then identify a main paper. You need help from your advisor or mentor. And then solve the assignments about a key paper reading. And all of these resources are, uh, are available in our course website, which is part of uh, Dr. Ali Gable website. So you can search from my personal website and get all the required resources. Thank you. We'll see you on the next video.